welcome back to my channel guys it seems as if people have started waking up from sleep they have started asking some pertinent question that is begging for answer the person of a uh, olushegun bambose national coordinator concerned advocates of good governance has asked some questions has started you know reasoning Thank God for Mazen and the Carlo who has taken it upon himself with IPOP to open people's eyes, to tell them how things are moving. Put one and two together that will give you answer. Guys, let us read and hear what Olisegu Bambose has said. Olisegu Bambose, National Coordinator, Concern Advocate for Good Governance, CAGG has noted that the senior special assistant to President Muhammad Buhari on media and publicity, Gaba Shehu, is now de facto leader of Nigeria. He called on President Buhari to address Nigeria as soon as possible, adding that Shehu lacks the constitutional right to act as president of Nigeria. Bambose, a chieftain of a new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, also lamented that the office of the vice president has been relegated to the background, with Shekhu taking charge at the presidency. According to the senior lawyer, Nigeria no longer know when Shekhu is airing his personal opinion or speaking the mind of the president. Bambose was angered by the recent reactions of the Attorney General of Federation, Abu Bakr Malami and Shehu, to the outcome of the recent South Southern Governor's meeting in Asaba Delta State. The governor had met to deliberate on the security challenges facing their region and thus pronounced a ban on open grazing. Malami has kicked against the governor's decision comparing open grazing by headers to spare pass dealers in the north. And a few days later, Shehu came up to rescue his situation by inf informing Nigerians that the resolution of the certain governors were of a questionable legality. Bambose described this as a ridiculous, adding that it clearly shown that the presidency is uncoordinated. Nigerians are confused as to identify who exactly is in control of the affairs of this uh, nation, he told Daily Post. When the presidency discovered that the statement of Manami could not snell true, Gaba Shehu came up to rescue the situation by informing Nigerians that the resolution of the certain governors were of a questionable legality. Again, it was equally reported the president backed Malami stand. On the resolution of the <coughs> certain governors, this scenario has clearly shown that the presidency is highly uncoordinated. One won't be wrong to ascertain that we have multiple presidencies in Nigeria. In essence, we have no we have no more than one president in Nigeria. In the real sense of it, Bori may not be in charge. We now have Prozis ruling this nation. This is a tantamount to the bastardization of the presidency. Why won't President Buhari, who went around the country to campaign, come out and address the nation on a national TV broadcast. Gaba, Shehu has now become the de facto leader of Nigeria. One does not know when he is airing his own personal view or speaking for the mind of the president. I think it's high time President Buhari addressed the nation. Gaba, Shehu lacks the constitutional right to do so. This confusion in the presidency must be brought to an end. It must, unfortunately, that the office of the vice president has been relegated to the background. This is a constitutional mess. We need to correct this abnormality in the presidency. This is why we must have to embrace national dialogue. We need to give room for restructuring of the country. Nigerians don't understand what is going on in the presidency. 
every dick harry and tom claim to speak for the presidency this is not helping matters this is belittling the presidency and the statement concludes guys would you blame anybody for saying that their so-called buari is not in charge it is good that such a thing is coming from a uh, so-called prominent people in Nigeria. It is good they know. All of them, in fact, the truth of the matter is that all of them knows that Buhari is not in charge. All of them knows the fraud going on in that Asorok. All of them knows that things are not the way. It ought to be in that Asorok. But they all chose to keep quiet. They all chose to, you know, close their mouth with money, which they are doing, and their bank account is getting fat on daily basis with borrowed money, with debt they, they, that is hanging on every Nigeria, even if it's a child born today, that child is owing. That child is really owing. It is so, so pathetic. And also, it is also good that people have started asking some pertinent questions. That is begging for an answer. Like you can hear him ask here. Is Gaba Shehu now the president, the fatal president or the fatal leader of Nigeria? Who is Gaba Shehu? Does he not, uh, uh, does he have any constitutional rights, you know, to lead Nigeria? Nobody knows where he is speaking from, for his, from his own mind. Or he is speaking for the pre presidency, so-called presidency. Guys, things are no longer the same in Nigeria. Buhari is not in charge. And it is some few cabals that is holding Nigeria at ransom. Guys, I want us to see reactions of people. Let us see how people are reacting. Olushegu Bamboso is saying Buhari is not in charge. Let's hear other people's reaction and we'll wait for your own at the comment section. Let's read. This person said, obviously, Buari is not in charge. And the next person said, that would be serious. So another person said, Osiban Johan is not clear. Buari is gone. Even Malami used Buari's name to defraud Nigeria. Nigeria is a fake state, no president. <laughs> Well, another person is saying, that is the fact. The next person is saying, even the rat in Asorok has power over Osibanjo. Ew. Nigerian. So, <laughs> Another person is saying, Gaba Shehu is the new president. The next person says, yes. Now you know who is in charge of Nigeria. Okay. And the next person said, are you just realizing it now Osibanjo has been relegated useless and worthless from day one try and the next person is saying was Osibanjo in charge when Sa uh, when Sane Yerima introduced Sharia law in Zamfara state and that person is saying Osibanjo is no longer available as well the next person said Work now is your morning. Guys, you are wrapping it up here. Come tell me your own opinion at the comment section. Please, as you comment, comment constructively. Tell me your own mind as you've had mine. I will see you again in the next update. Bye for now.